A sad update now to Monday's deadly pileup on I-81. We've now learned there was a sixth person who was killed in the multi-vehicle crash. The news comes as the highway is finally reopened today. 69 News reporter Julia Rose joins us in the studio with the latest on the road's condition. Julia. Yeah, Hasiel, after being shut down for more than 24 hours, traffic is flowing freely on I-81 today, but there's still work to be done. PennDOT says a crew will be monitoring the highway until an emergency contractor can come out to pave the stretch of road that was damaged by the fire. A very different scene on I-81. The sun is shining as traffic moves steadily in both directions. But just hours earlier, the road was still shut down after sudden whiteout conditions caused multiple vehicles to crash, killing six people and injuring more than 25 others. It went from clear sunny weather, about 30 degrees, uh, down to like nine uh, degrees and then like blizzard-like conditions. And I couldn't see anything. Mike Moy was driving on 81 when the snow squall hit. He captured this cell phone video and says he still can't believe what he experienced. This is not real. There's no way this is happening right now. Uh, it, it just didn't feel real. Emergency crews worked for nearly two days to clear the scene and reopen the highway. A long time to get it open, but it was everything had to be done in order and had to be done for safety reasons. Ron Young with PennDOT says all things considered, the road is in fairly decent shape, but the area where the fire sparked saw the worst of the damage. It was due to mainly the heat combined with the fluids from the vehicles that, that leaked out. PennDOT crews had to remove some of the road surface and will monitor it daily until an emergency contractor can come out to finish the work. PennDOT will have to go back at some time in the near future and just pave back over that three eighths of an inch that was removed. In the meantime, Young says it could have been worse. You know, a couple thousand feet away, it would have been underneath the, the overpass and would have been probably the fire would have caused a lot of damage to the bridge. And as news of the updated death toll spreads, people involved in the crash, like Moy, are counting their blessings. It was either turn left where the majority of the cars were or go right and just hit one car, which that's the way that I went. And at this point, state police are not releasing the identities of the six victims until all of their families have been contacted. Hasiel.